Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Toy here today. Another video, more tier four hyper awakening and uh, T skills. Let's just get it popping. And as you guys know, uh, not my content, please down below into the description are the links to all of the accounts of the people showcasing all of their characters. Please make sure to like, sub to them and support them if you can. Let's get it popping. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with something nasty, and that is remaining energy, but not any remaining energy, ladies and gentlemen. We're back to supercharge, and my dear lord, it still is looking fire nonetheless. Uh, the gameplay, well, I think it changed a lot once again with all of the new additions and to the skills, and well, we're also back to Dark Axel. Which one is going to be the best, we'll have to see within the future. But knowing that there are so many builds, viable, possible, and whatsoever, uh, I, I'm just very hype. And I just wanted to showcase this to you guys because it is absolutely nutty seeing all this stuff. Knowing that the T-Skill itself is also a charge key. Knowing that the T-Skill itself also has attack speed increase when we have the Brawl Shells bracelet. Knowing that this happens, we got a Kalila goes a buster with a one. Yeah, one minute. Let's see. MVP goes to <laughs> the board. Another thing that I was trying to look for is a sharpshooter with the other T skill and not the dash, uh, but the drilling. And well, one thing that I have to note is that Sharpshooter came out of the works and I was mesmerized at how fun it looks to a point where I was like, oh, where's the next Express Pass? I want to make one of these. But yeah, if you miss the drill, we have uh, no way of showing anything. But the other thing that pretty much gets shown here as well, Edgar's already getting bust. And... uh yeah, this is hard mode. Like, what the hell, ladies and gentlemen? It hasn't even been out for, what, five weeks? And we're already doing all of this stuff, but not playing with our friends. Or maybe they are. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. But let's see if I could get at least a one showcase in of that T-Skill. Because I know it looks ferocious, but my, my, my personal favorite is still the dash. I just know it does caca for damage. Fun thing is, ooh, the Z button on itself, that change on the T4 is so nasty. You're able to cast that at any time. And if I mean any time, I mean any time. During your cast, no animations whatsoever. You just press the Z button and it happens. It is basically like your Arcana cards. Oh, here we go, drills. This is not a drill. <laughs> but not to leave you guys hanging. We need the awakening skill. Kink! <laughs> no way! He actually missed! Oh, that is so... And you gotta do it once more on the whole damn raid. You're missing literally about 3 to 4 million damage for nothing. I, would, I would've been mad salty. And since I haven't even posted anything on Aeromancer, here we go. We got the Weatherman. Lots of damage, but this one is Virgil. Now here's another video, another artillerist. And you might be thinking, why the hell are we showcasing this again? Is this a damage video? Not, no, not quite. Now look at the T-Skills cooldown. Keep your focus on it. Just keep focusing because there's something interesting coming about. Here we go. Beep. And it lowers by, what, 10 seconds or so? So, apparently, room cooldowns work. Now, this brings perspective for a whole lot of classes that have a lot of buttons that they press. And then I found this absolute beauty of a video because, yes, have we seen Scrapper already? Yes. Have we seen the Trixie on Parse? Yes. Have we seen actual damage in an actual raid of Shock Scrapper to date? Well, I've seen it yesterday. But before that, I haven't seen Jack. And look at the amount of hits. He is basically, like, I'm not sure how many upgrades he still needs. But I'm assuming with the Brochaza patch, he is hitting 1 billion consecutively on every single one of his skills if he is in identity. Like, what the absolute... Mm, that is ridiculous. Ugh, I want, I want, don't we all want to see a head pop? Give me... Ugh, for Hondo. 
Oh, seven hundo. Why not? Here we go. Big fist. Almost eight hundred, six hundred something. Why don't you? Ugh. But we're still not there yet. Mind you, something that came to my vision just now. There are only six people here. They are already busting behemoth, and we're still haven't even fought this chicken yet. How ridiculous is that? Yeah, we know. Break the damn wing. I wonder how great the wing breaks actually are. Oh, now to pop your head. Oops, eight hundred sixty-four million damage on a single one. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit out everything I had in my mouth. Let's rewatch that. That was ridiculous. Okay, let's do it again. Identity. Almost two. Another two. Else. 1.2. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, let's pop the awakening because nobody cares any. 1.7. I, I need to do some math right here, but that is definitely above 10. What the absolute hell. And we haven't even seen... The Hyper Awakening yet. I'll skip to that in a half second, but I just want to see the T-Skill once again. We're not going to see much about it anyway, right? Uh-uh. uh, -uh. uh, -uh, 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 -uh <laughs> Five Hondo on a clean T-Skill, ladies and gentlemen. Not in Identity Skill. There's a lot of damage coming up. This is crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, we all know T-Skills are nasty. Hyper Awakening Skill, nastier. Clock him in the mouth. Hit them with a 5 billion, ladies and gentlemen. And look at the timer. There's a 1, 12 minutes in. And they got 6 minutes left on the clock. How broken is this stuff? Onto the MVP screen. Everybody's cruel fight. I don't, I don't know. Bart is MVP once again. What? And then we had a little gem. Tier 4. Hyper Awakening Skills. Control Glavier. Because, hey, this is the fun one out of the two, for sure. And, well, previously, there were mana problems on this character. Nowadays, doesn't seem to look like the case. But with the new T4 skills, we got more buttons to press. The skills, they look nice. Not super amazing. I actually like Taijutsu Scrapper better if we had to compare a class. And I think those are pretty similar to a degree. Else. My man is not popping in at any, every single angle. But there's one funny thing about this video. Let's show it. So once you're in this mechanic. And we still got Shandy left, right? Here we go. Pop everything. Awakening skill once. Uh -uh. Hyper awakening skill twice. Uh -uh. 16 bars and all you gotta do is hit him. Don't care about mechanics whatsoever. Keep hitting him, man. Your cooldowns are already off. He nearly got smoked. But then the bigger question at the end of it, did we even get onto the MVP screen? Because that's what we all do it for, right? Ooh. Parse. Ooh, ooh. Smack him in the dome piece. Lots of cooldowns everywhere. Uh, we still got a hyper awakening skill left. Spearsing ass. This is about one of the weakest looking hyper awakening skills that there is. I, they, they, uh, I'm not, I'm not even sure if there's a population of control glaviers, but they, they should be mad. They should be mad. But MVP is, well, 24 cruel fighter, cruel fighter on this guy as well. So, Apparently he performed, we just don't know what kind of damage he did. On top of everything else, a rarity, which is called Time to Hunt Gunslinger. I haven't seen many of these, but also in tier 4 I haven't seen him all that much. But Hyper Awakening skills, that's even less of what I saw. But here we go, on to the foes. Don't look. Ooh. But all we want to see... I don't, I don't want cutscenes, ladies and gentlemen. I need damage. Give me that. I want to see some X buttons. I want to see some C buttons. Uh oh, oh, uh, 5 Hondo. There's a lot of damage coming out. Oh, the speed of this is insane. Can we get it? Uh -uh. 1 billion damage. 
I, I think there's a 1.9 in this video somewhere as well. Like, that is some nasty damage. But the one thing that I am curious about is what is the Hyper Awakening? And does he even do a normal Awakening? As hyper Awakening! Ooh, 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 ooh. 4.3? A 1.4 burst X button and everything! Oh, that's looking quite neat. That is not bad. But then MVP screen, we got uh He got fighter, I think. <laughs> I guess it's still caca, ladies and gentlemen. But in terms of new builds and rotations, we got another BK break and then decided to say, even if I'm gonna get nerfed, or at least most likely, I'm gonna just try everything. Here we go. Oops. So he changed the normal button where you just dash in and he said, now nah, this is Trixion, he is not moving anyway. I'm not sure how much I like the build in terms of everything, but, well, the rotation is looking smooth, ladies and gentlemen. Zafre Nova, kind of looking like the damage. No, no, it's actually not. It's the cooldown reduction, which, in a sense, is smart. Because that way you can always put that into rotation. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Pop him in. He's waiting. I am not sure what for. But here we go. There we go, Zafrenova, clock him in the mouth. Booyah! Else. One in, two in, get the hell out of there. Zafrenova first, and oh my dear lord. He is not showing the parts, but the gameplay itself, it looks smooth. But then we got some other people playing around with builds, and whether this is good or not, I have absolutely no idea. But this guy is using what? Uh, looks like swiftness, ladies and gentlemen. Maximum swiftness using some kind of build. And from the looks of it, he is also using one thing. And that is a mana increase. Because his base mana is absolutely mesmerizing. But also using a T skill that I am uh, certain is maybe not even supposed to be for this class. However... The funny thing about it is, onto the normal skill when you cast it, into the Brel Shells up patch, it has a cooldown. Lower. Which means that there might be some viability for this whole thing. So whether this build is good or not, we cannot say anything because he hasn't popped the Trixion uh, damage meter. But yeah, this is, uh, this is nuts, ladies and gentlemen. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's not leave this video without me showcasing a little bit of War Dancer because these people have been hiding. I know for sure because it's not that they're bad. They're absolutely broken, but I don't think they want to get nerfed. It's the real deal. So yeah, big question from one of my viewers. So I hope you will enjoy uh, this one. My friend, Ew. get clapped. But we want to see some of the deeps. Do we have any Trixion parses? I haven't found any of them. But I just know that at least the esoteric one is bumping mad numbers. There is a video of a um, Esther 8 person that is absolutely obliterating the Trixion dummy with about, I don't know, numbers that are quite similar to the artillerist that we've seen earlier. Ugh, hit him in the mouth. But the upside and also the downside it is fun seeing all those big numbers. However, the big downside is how much is realistic for an average person to achieve without that Esther 8 or Esther 9. And that in and on itself is one of those big questions that I will leave unanswered for a little bit. But without further ado, it's just the one. Spinnerowski, nobody cares a one bit. But all I want to see is this. Ugh. Hyper Awakening skill. This is the one that I was still missing. It looks good. But also, meh. I like the other one so much better. It looked so much more ferocious. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, for the person that was looking for the first intent. Hope you are happy with what is shown over here. Once again, down into the description are the channels of the people that have shown all of this footage. Please make sure to give them some likes and support them. And as for me, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Peace.